Hello, so today I'm going to be doing a review on this Kotobukiya plastic kit. This is uh, the Jack Kaiser, so number three in the plain model kit line that Kotobukiya released a few years ago. It's kind of like uh, quality wise, a high grade, in between high grade and uh, LBX kit. So I would say about an early high grade ish from what I can see. So again, it's made by Kotobukiya. It retails for 800 yen and as you know Kotobukiya doesn't make their kit in Japan I, this is a made in China kit right there yep made in China it was released in 2007 August it seems or not August uh, October um, when it has the American North American release uh, sticker or something like that Alright, here's the side of the box, uh, it's showing you what it looked like if you complete it like a pro. I'm not a pro, but anyway, here's others in the series. So this is the third one in the series. Here's the first, second, fourth, and the fifth in the lineup. So let's crack open the box to see what's inside. Alright, so the box is open. You get a nice uh, instruction manual. Um, here's the pilot itself. Alright, name is Daka and some color guide inside. Here's some nice animated shot. I'll get to this guy in a moment and you get a parts list so you can order them. Most likely it's Japan only. And uh, so let's get into the runners here. So we got uh, first of all it says non scale, so just heads up. And this is a runner B. Nicely sky color blue molded piece. The mold seems to be really nice. Alright, so next one, it's a little bit darker shade of blue as you can see than the runner B. So this is runner number A. And the eyes are seems to be already pre-painted for you in a flat color scheme. The black and the red. So okay, and you get a nice uh, small sheet of polycap. The your usual typical polystyrene I think polycap or whatever it is. And Here's where you would need to do a lot of painting. So this is runner C, all the cream color or skin color hand pieces and the leg and the cannon. As you can see the cannon, most part of the cannon is actually blue, but it all comes molded in this color so you would have to definitely either hand paint it or spray paint it depending on what you would want. So um, let me show you, here's the instruction manual. So should follow your standard Gundam style so here's you get a parts list and just a very simple snap together and uh, you're done that's pretty much it all right so in terms of coloring like I mentioned the cannon needs to be all blue there's some blue on the hand and elbows and shoulders and things like that so what I'm gonna do is uh, as you can see from my other video I purchased this uh, GS Mr. Color uh, Gundam color paint this is the sky blue that I was looking for, so I'm going to try this on um, probably the shoulder and the hand pieces because I'm not too good with masking stuff yet. And for the cannon, since most part of the cannon seems to be blue and it's a straight line, I'm going to try to mask it and see if I can spray paint it blue. And uh, if that doesn't work, I would probably gonna be repainting everything into white and just uh, hand painting it. We will see. So let me show you guys what it looked like when it's completed. Okay, so here's what the completed kit uh, looked like. And uh, as I said before, that I was gonna paint this because this whole uh, cannon came molded in this uh, skin color, this creamy color, so I basically uh, you know put a masking tape on it and spray painted. Uh, I used the Temclad sky blue I believe and then just did some minor touch up um, with the G color blue from Mr. Color and also I painted um, let me give you a quick 360 view so as you can see I uh, painted the hand right here, like the the shoulder, 
the shoulder and then the elbow joints right here using G color uh, blue from uh, Mr. Color and that's pretty much it and there's some basic uh, panel lining here and there as you can see oh I also painted this thing red even though it turned out to be kind of brown at the end and I uh, put some black filling right there and that's pretty much it um, and then flat coated it with the Krylon flat uh, let me give you a quick 360 view yeah I think it turned out pretty good actually for a straight build um, yeah, I wish uh, I could get more of these kit, this um, simple model line kit from Kotobukiya. Yeah, unfortunately I, I could only find this one, so I might look on eBay to find it. But anyway, yeah, so let me know uh, what you guys think on the comment uh, below. I definitely give it a thumbs up. And I guess thank you for watching and see you on the next video.